Hey, you know something, folks? Uh, my next guest recently made national headlines for going to extremes to rescue a fellow classmate who was under attack. Please welcome University of Illinois at Chicago, freshman and today's Harvey's hero, David. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, Steve. David, uh, take us through what happened that day. Okay, so I uh, woke up and I went to my room and I started getting ready for the day and I went out to go brush my teeth and I heard one of my foremates yelling out, I need help, I think somebody's being sexually assaulted in the women's bathroom. So immediately I ran to the women's bathroom, I opened the door and I screamed in, is everything okay? Um, I heard a scream, so I entered and that's when I saw the victim running towards me, clearly scared and distraught, so I screamed and I told her, get outside, get out of here, run. And that's when I saw the perpetrator in the left corner. Okay, so what happened next? I, um, the perpetrator was clearly disoriented, so I assumed he was on drugs, and I helped him and I escorted him outside of the bathroom. And when we left the bathroom, I saw my floor mates looking outside their doors, and I told them, call the police, call security, call anybody, and thankfully everybody did. And this is when I sat down the perpetrator for the first time. But he got up again and started wandering away, saying, I need to go, I need to go. So I followed him around the corner, and I sat him down a second time, and then immediately he got up again and said, I need to go, I need to go. And he went to the elevator and I convinced him, let's take the stairs. It's faster, you can get out faster. In his state of mind, he complied. And at this point, I heard the police officers running up the stairs. So I sat him down a third time and the police got there and apprehended him. Oh, okay, wow. And I just really want to emphasize that, yeah, I did, you know, stop him and the police got him from me, but my floor mates all helped out. Like if they didn't call the cops, it was a communal effort. You know, everybody helped out. I mean, when they, when they approached you about becoming the Harvey's Heroes, you, you, you felt like you weren't a hero. I didn't because I just think that I did what I hope everybody would do in the situation, but looking back on it and hearing what, you know, what he was charged for, like attempted murder, attempted kidnapping, aggravated assault of a police officer, and the list goes on, I just, I still appreciate the recognition, but I honestly, I think I just did what my parents raised me to do and raised me the man I should be, and... I'm just, I'm really grateful that I was there at the exact moment. Yeah. Well, I gotta tell you, man, it is, it's really something special what you did because a lot, of, a lot of people walk the other way. A lot of, or a lot of people don't know how to react. My reaction wouldn't have been that. I'm gonna just be honest with you. My reaction has a, a little bit more violent. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm, I was, I guess it was the way I was raised too. Yeah. <laughs> Then it would have been two cases. <laughs> but thank God, guy like you down there thinking, man, and got a smart way to do it. You, you're a hero in my book, man. And a lot of people that heard this story, and you are a hero. And that's why today we're making you a Harvey's hero, buddy. That's it. Got your own Harvey's hero jacket, everything, man. And that's not all for you, too, man. Uh, our friends over at Green Dot uh, heard about your bravery and wanted, wanted to recognize you for your heroism and all, so that's why they're giving you uh, $5,000 on a green dot reloadable prepaid card. All you gotta do is successfully register. So that's yours, buddy. Five grand. Yeah. That's enough. <laughs> college kid with no money. <laughs> you said college kid with no money. You got five grand. Here come the chicks. <laughs> All right, thanks, David. Thanks, Steve. Thank you very much. We'll be right back, everybody.